All right. Today's question is, would you rather have more privacy or more national security? So do you lean more towards like having your privacy or do you like to be safe or would you rather feel safe? I don't like just saying there's more national security to sound like people that I don't want to associate with. Yeah. At the same time, yeah, it makes sense. Right. And I think people have an illusion of privacy of what they think they have. Yeah. They don't realize they don't really have much of any to begin with. Yeah. So I would say national security might be more realistic to want. Yeah. 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 I'm all about feeling safe. And I feel like, because you don't want to do, when you don't feel safe, you don't want to do things. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to leave the house. You don't want to go places. Like, you just don't want... If you don't feel safe, you know, like, you just don't... It, it affects the way your life, the way of life. Yes. Way too much. Now, privacy, like, privacy, you can kind of scale back on your own. Like, you can determine on, like, what am I doing? What am I doing that I need privacy for? Like, do I need to do that outside of the house? Or do I need some... Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you can control that way more and, like, you can't control things that are, like, you can't control, like, Paris or anything like that. Like, that's stuff that's that's stuff that's going to happen. And there's nothing you can really do about it, you know what I'm saying, other than maybe enhance security measures, which may take away from some of your privacy, you know, but... I also feel like this question's, like, it's selfish. Either I choose myself or the greater good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I do think you're right. I do think we have an illusion that we have privacy. It's like, <laughs> even yeah. if you didn't, what are they going to do with the information of what I do every day? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like, oh yeah. no, I'm driving the TFD. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, like, how much do you think of yourself that the government really wants to pay attention to you? Right, like, yeah. how important are you yes. really? And you would think that. And I know me, I'm not. And you would think that the, the data that they would want to collect from you would be data that they could use to make money. Like, stuff that I do, there's a lot of stuff that I probably, that will not make anyone money, ever. So, uh, why would they want to know about control, it? I mean, or it's, both. it's control, control both. consumerism, it's control. and all of that. I mean, yeah, we have to change it, So, I'm just going to choose the greatest good here. The national security. Yeah, why not? I know it's bad other places, so I, I'm like, how right. it is now, too. Yeah. Right, we're... I know we have different views in this country lately, and we're very divided. We are very fortunate, though. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, there's certain countries where women are allowed to drive still, you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. and so or go to school. Yeah, or go to school, or have an education, mm -hmm. and just basic education they're pulled out of. And yeah. it's like, yeah, so we are very fortunate, and I would like to keep it that way. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if that actually falls underneath national security, <laughs> but let's go with that. Yeah. I don't want some other, like, terrorist organization to pull in. Right. And next thing you know, it's all changed. Yeah, but you gotta think every time something like that, like stuff gets taken away, you gotta think like the way airports were before 9 11. Like, we're way different now. It's yeah, totally. It's very, really bizarre. Like, you've flown before 9 11 and you've flown after. And it's like the stuff that we did before 9 11, it's like kind of amazing that we did <laughs> such things. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's there for a reason, I suppose. Like, yeah. So we got to take our shoes off at this country. Some other countries, you don't have to, but this one yeah. we do. It seems kind of weird, but mm -hmm. if I take my shoes off for 35 seconds. I'm okay. It's fine. Yeah. Unless right. you get pre-checked. Well, yeah, unless you get pre-checked. <laughs> then mm -hmm. you know, but it's fine. Yeah. And it's like anytime like something happens, you know, like something bad, catastrophic happens, you're always like, oh, what could they have done or whatever? And it turns out like in order for them to prevent it, they would have had to done so many things that invades like people's everyday lives and privacy and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like, I just feel like that's just the price you, you know, you pay. So yeah, I'm all for national security. Like, yeah, I do appreciate some privacy and stuff like that. But like, I'll just live in my bubble that I think I have privacy. Exactly. Yeah. But I, w I would much rather go to a concert or go somewhere and feel safe yeah. than and feel safe than I don't know than worry them worry about what people see what I eat every day or something. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It, 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 to me, it's it's just ridiculous. Yeah, that's just also I'm not doing anything bad. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, <laughs> I'd say national security. National, yeah. secu national security. Yeah. yeah, I feel like we all lie there. Alright, well, there we have it. <laughs> Wasn't it some, it was one of the 